By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we open old school magic. And I've got an unexpected package in the mail today and I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure if I know what it is. This is a package from Ron and Ron is a Dutch old school magic player. He's also known as the Often Troll. He's the organizer of the Often Troll Cup, which is held in Leeuwarde. This year it was held online. Uh, maybe you saw it. It was live on Timmy Talks. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a great tournament. And I'm really thankful for just getting this package because I talked to Ron pretty much to everybody that wants to hear that I'm working on my revise project, trying to get all the revise cards time for. Um, and, you know, that's a huge undertaking. I'm still missing missing a lot of cards. And, you know, Ron immediately said... I got, I got a couple of cards for you, you know, uh, when we have the tournament, you can come and pick them up or we can trade or, you know, get me a couple of beers. It's all good. But then, of course, the current situation, the tournament was changed from, you know, a physical tournament to an online tournament, which, which was great. You know, it was a lot of fun. Not the same thing as, you know, playing Magic in real life. That's, that's for me personally, always better than playing through a webcam, but this is the best you can do under the circumstances. So I thought, you know what, those cards that we talked about is probably not going to happen. And then all of a sudden I come home and I, I find this package. So Ron, thank you, man. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, if it is what I think it is, by the way, because, you know, maybe it's something else. But I don't need the scissors. I can just open it up like this. There is a nice envelope. Nice blank envelope in here. And this seems to be safe to cut open. There we go. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not cutting through the cards that he sent me. Oh, look, I was cutting through a piece of paper. Oh, look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really nice. So this is the logo of the Off Control Cup. Enjoy your cards. How cool is this? He, he actually has um, also at his event, he has special uh, often troll beer. Uh, we were just going to do a lot of insane stuff in, in Leowater. A lot of cool magic stuff, a lot of cool events, much more than just a tournament. And I actually uh, rented out, um, how do you say that? You say in Dutch, a bone boat. Like, you know, a boat basically that you can live on. And I rented I, I rented one with a friend of mine to just stay overnight to make sure that we could, you know, get the full experience from this from this event. It's, it's truly unique. Uh, but like I said, it couldn't happen due to circumstance. And look at this. The cards. It looks like there are tons of cards. I'm going to show you guys the logo. Cool, right? I think this could be a good uh, thumbnail for the uh, for this vid. Nice, the off control, and yeah. Let's see. Let's just start on the left here. I'm just gonna flip it over. An orcish artillery, and yes, these. I guess these are the revised cards that we talked about. So, wow, Ron, then, I definitely owe you one. And we've got an Orcish Flame, And another one. And number three. So I think I now have a full playset. And a Shatterstorm. Fantastic. I think I now have a full playset of Shatterstorms as well. Uh, this art. Is fan I love this card when I was a child. Still do actually, the art is just fantastic. Zero, eight for three, it's it's pretty solid, isn't it? And another one, and let's see, Ron Spencer, and a terror by Ron Spencer. Let's also get that out of the sleeve. And these cards, by the way, they're in really nice, nice condition. And let's have a look. Here we go. Flip an e talk 
I mean, this is just great. These are a lot of cards that I still need for my collection. Burrowing, burrowing. <laughs> look at that art of burrowing. Has anybody ever played with burrowing? Maybe, maybe you could, you know, with a blood moon uh, and then play burrowing or something. I don't know. And yeah, this is a beautiful card, Dwarven Weaponsmith. If the thing about Dwarven Weaponsmith is it's one red and one to cast for one one. And the ability is actually pretty good. You can tap it and during your upkeep, add a permanent plus one plus one counter to any creature. So a permanent counter, that is pretty sweet. And each time you use this ability, you must sacrifice one of your artifacts in play. So I thought, what if this ability could work as an instant effect, just like Sage of Latinam. Then you could do, if somebody target this, targets your artifact, in response, you can sack it to the Dwarven Weaponsmith and actually get a plus one plus one counter on a creature. Unfortunately, this is one of these cards, just like Hell's Caretaker, for example, where you can only use the ability during your upkeep. That is what, what's making this card, for me at least, so hard to brew with. And another one, and a 2-2. Two -two. Ah, yes. So this is just a common, so maybe you're wondering why I'm so happy with this. Um, I need full play sets, or I want full play sets of every card in Revised, and these cards are just difficult to come by, especially in such a good condition. I mean, Great Ogre, just beautiful. And we've got a nice Hill Giant, and a 1-1, one, one. oh wait, skipping here, a 2-3, a Herloon Minotaur, yeah, famous art. Really beautiful. This was on uh, on the box of Revised, the Hurlo Minotaur. And a Mons Goblin Raiders, and I think another one, because now I've got my playset complete of Mons Goblin Raiders. The weird thing was, I have an Alpha one, I have a playset of Beta ones, a playset of Unlimited ones, but I did have a playset of Revised for some reason. So that playset is now complete as well, so that's fantastic. And I've got one last pack of cards left. It's gonna flip it again. Ah, the grizzly bear, the 2-2 two -two bear. 2-2 two -two for two. A term that's still being used, a bear in magic today, meaning a 2-2 two -two for two. And let's see, a 3-5, so this has to be an iron root tree folk. Yes. Really cool art by Jesper Mirforce. Really cool. Really nice. And we have, okay, Mark Pool card. Ah, this is a stream of life. Really nice. And another, I guess this is another stream of life. Yep, another one. And Anson Maddox, two, three. Wow, what could this be? A two, three in revised green? Art by Anson Maddox. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Wall of Brambles. When I saw the regeneration, I knew. It's funny that you don't think about walls when you when you see power and toughness. For some reason, I don't think for two, three, I don't think about think of a wall. This is also an uncommon, by the way, the Wall of Brambles. And Anson Maddox again, another Wall of Brambles. And oh seven. This this must must be a Wall of Ice. Richard Thomas. He's made lots of walls. And here we kind of see the sage trapped in the wall of ice. Or standing at the other side of it, trying to get through. That's, of course, that could be the case as well. And we have another wall of ice. Really nice. You gotta love that. You gotta love the wall of ices. Oh man, really nice. So while we look at some pictures of me adding these cards to my collection, I just wanna Say a big, big thank you to Ron for sending me these beautiful cards in beautiful condition. I'm seriously, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, as they say in English, stoked. I am stoked, yeah. Um, and I also want to thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, if you want to support the channel, you're actually doing it right now by watching the channel. Um, you're also doing it by not using an ad blocker. Um, you can also do it by liking this video, leaving a comment, sharing it on your socials, and just, you know, be positive. 
that's always cool. Um, something else, you can also uh, support our channel financially by becoming a sponsor of Timmy Talks, and you can do that by checking out Timmy's Patreon page. So you can become a patron. Uh, we've got our own Discord. We organize events. Uh, there are some behind the scenes uh, footage that I make. So if you're interested in that, definitely click on the info card and, uh, and, and you can check it out. Uh, for now, thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks. And let's go to the end scroll and let's check out the amazing, fantastic patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus vind het dus somber gezien.